you're going to be on social media whether you're there or not. From senior leaders to companies and brands, people can misuse your identity on social media if you're not there. So if we look at things like parody accounts where people pretend to be you in a really funny way, through to political leaders who have meme accounts so people are, are taking taking the fun out of what they're doing politically, through to brands who are doing perhaps not the right thing on social media with their communication so people make fun of them continually. These risks are out there and they affect the reputation of your business in a really, really strong and decisive way online. And they can actually outrank your Google rankings as well. So in the last two years, we've seen two really contrasting crises occur in the world. We had the Malaysian Airlines disappearance of Flight 370 and we also had the Sydney siege, a terrorist attack at the Lint Cafe in downtown Sydney. If we have a look at what happened during the Malaysian Airlines flight, obviously there wasn't a lot of information around when the flight disappeared and Malaysian Airlines didn't do a really good job of keeping the public and the families of those that disappeared informed, which led to an information vacuum being formed. And what I mean by that is when you don't act actively and passively engage on your social media and your media channels, people start making the story up for you. So you lose control of your narrative. If we then go and have a look at the Sydney siege as a contrasting angle, you know, I don't think anyone would have expected that a, a chocolate coffee shop would have had a crisis and issues management plan for a terrorist attack in their cafe in, in downtown Sydney. So having that preparedness and having those responses ready ahead of time is now imperative, no matter what industry or what business that you're running. If you're a senior leader or a notable member of the public, it's really important for you to have those crisis and reputation management plans in place well before you actually need them. Whether you're a big organisation, a politician, a small business, or even an author like me, you need to be able to proactively manage your social media presence and understand the social media landscape. Part of doing that is building social media crisis planning into your business continuity plan. So you know how to use platforms like Facebook, YouTube and Twitter during a crisis and effectively control your online narrative.